about blacks and pot young and black Africa. Man. Young black men, yeah. If you want to take over, you said, if you want to take over an African nation. If you wanted to. If you wanted to take over an African nation, uh, just get uh, white women and pot. pot. That would do it. And now uh, some people will listen to that and they say, oh, that's racist. That's, ra that's a racist statement. Right. And uh, we'll take some calls and I'm sure we'll get some people and we'll let you explain right, your right, way out right. of that. Uh, let's start it off with uh, probably somebody you've talked to before. Glenn. What's going on, Lincoln? How you doing? I'm all right. Well, count me as one that thinks it's a racist statement. I mean, that's, that's absolutely ridiculous. And let me ask you, Lincoln, is this the first time this guy has been in your studio? Uh, he's been on my TV show before. But he hasn't been in the studio. No, I so all those times where he wanted to help out those young black people, he never decided to come to the black radio station? Well, uh, hold on, Glenn. Glenn, 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 do I, do I, Glenn, do I have to come to the buzz to co-sign loans. Have you ever co-signed a loan for a young black man, Glenn, that you well, would know personally? Have you, have you ever given money to people to get their bills? Do you have a bust of Martin Luther King in your house? Do you have a bust of Martin Luther King in your house? No, what does that mean? No, what I'm trying to say is why do I got to come to the buzz? You, I can defend my record, Glenn. Is it my turn to talk? I got, I got, I got, I bet you I got as many black friends as you do. Also, you just, you were just racist, Glenn. See, that's what's funny, Glenn. You are racist. I'm not, here's another joke that I told the comedy club. I made a joke that I, and I'm being serious. I admire Al Sharpton and Jesse Jackson, how they come to the aid of blacks that need somebody to come to their aid. And I made a joke that I wish that I was black because with my battle with the Kentucky Bar Association, Al Sharpton and Jesse Jackson would fly down here and say, leave the bulldog alone. The joke might have been a bad joke, and it, but it wasn't a mean, it was, it, was a, it was a poor use of words, like you, you used the word kryptonite, but I'm, I'm defending myself because I need to. I don't want anybody to think I'm a racist. Yeah. Well, I, I just want to tell you, one of the things that I put in my, my statement is that I know more white people, because I know more white people, I know more white people who smoke pot than blacks. So I'll go on the record, I'll go on the record right here that more white, I know far more white people that smoke pot than young black people that I know. Pot, every, and you know what, let's, let's call it the way it is. Let's not be politically correct. Everybody knows out there that pot is as prevalent as alcohol uh, in the 20-something crowd, white or black. I'm representing the family of Nathaniel Jones, oh, yeah. the White Castles case. Ken Lawson gave me all of his civil rights cases. I called Clyde Bennett uh, last week when I knew he was up, and I'm going to get with Clyde. I've always been an admirer of Clyde. Clyde's a great lawyer. I've given $1,000 to the family of the police officer that lost his life, but I'm a Clyde Bennett fan. I mean... You know, but those are just some more examples. So Thank you for uh, calling, Steve. Thank you. You're representing Nathaniel Jones. Jones's uh, family. So they haven't settled that case with the city yet? No, it's it's gone on. We've been in the Sixth Circuit Court of Appeals. It's back with Judge Delot. We won in the Sixth Circuit Court of Appeals. But I'm representing that family. Ken Lawson gave me his civil rights cases. But when I went into his office, I was in a lot of trouble. Not only did this man give me an hour of the, what, $500 an hour? Right? Ain't that right, Bulldog? Yes. $500 an hour of his time. He gave me an hour of that. Not just that, Lincoln. He said Chuck Holbrook. You hear him how he talk about Chuck Holbrook all the time, his right-hand man. Mm -hmm. He sent him to my house so we could talk about business proposition. Now, I don't know if it makes this man a non-racist or anything on that particular level, but he could have did this for somebody else. And he wanted, he wanted some help, and I gave him some help, and I'm going to give him some help. And I've actually talked to Chuck. I said, despite all this guy's past problems, Chuck, I said, there's something about this young guy that I think is, is worth it, taking a chance. And we are thinking about going into business with that young man right there who has a record and has had a lot of bad luck and run-ins with the law. And I, I didn't know he was going to call. Mm -hmm. I, I, I even left that off my list. All right. I think it brings tears to my eyes. Okay, we're good. Okay, we're good to go. 749-1230-513 is the area code. Christopher Smitherman, how you doing? Hey, I'm doing well, Lincoln. How you doing? The president of the local chapter of the NAACP. Hi, Attorney Peters. How are you? I'm doing fine, Chris. Good. My, our position at the Central NAACP, just so that we are clear, um, I wouldn't define our response as a task. What we did was Mr. Dieters took responsibility for what he said. He apologized took full responsibility for it. You know, since the NAACP, we don't just go out and just start trashing people's character. And clearly, people
people say things and make mistakes. Also, Attorney Dieters is going to be at our Cincinnati NAACP general membership meeting on the fourth Thursday of this month to speak directly to our members about his comments. The difference between Attorney Dieters, which I think he manned up, and the difference between him and council member board is that Mr. Dieters took responsibility for what he said. Yeah. And that, for me, Lincoln, is the difference. Yeah, I mean, yeah. I wish council member boards would look at him, look at his leadership, say, hey, I said something. Um, it was, and, and I'm going to tell you what he said. Um, I'm, I'm saying from the two witnesses related to the sanitation workers, council member boards, which is a tr an entirely different issue, uh, was much more uh, profane um, than what uh, Attorney Dieter said. Yeah, but yeah. the reality is that he stepped forward, he said, I said something that was inappropriate, I shouldn't have said it, I apologize, I take responsibility. That's the kind of leadership that we need to have. And my hope is that when I go out and I say something that's inappropriate, um, I do something that's inappropriate, that people in the community would look at it, they'd assess who I am, how I'm handling it, and then decide um, uh, you know, what, that, what the appropriate response was. So I'm very proud that, that uh, Mr. Dieters is on your radio show uh, coming um, here to the, to, the, to the station. And Lincoln, it took you forever to get Council Member Ford to come on and just say what happened that day. And I don't, I'm still unclear from his perspective on what happened. Well, I mean, but, he came right when we called. We called him, and he came. I, I just never Chris, called him. Chris, Chris, uh, I, I want to really thank you. Uh, for, for your statement because, you know, I think so many people think that people jump in. It's amazing to me, Chris, that you, as a representative of the NAACP, you know, let's face it, my, my joke went too far. I shouldn't have put it on the video blog, and I, and I apologize again to you, but the fact that you were willing to uh, accept, you know, accept that and say, let's go on. And, and let me tell you something, Chris. Let it be known that the Bulldog is your humble servant. Uh, for your organization. There's there's nothing about the NAACP that bothers me. And if there's ever anything I can do going forward, I look forward to speaking to your membership. But uh, thank you, Chris. Thank, thank you. Thank you, Attorney Dean. Thank you, Lincoln. Thank All right. you, Manuel, for letting me get through. You guys have a great day. Hey, Chris, thanks for your call.